right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you your energy update, Aries. Okay, so let's see what the energy is for you guys overall. Don't forget, flip the rolls as you see fit. Take only what you need and leave the rest. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video cross watches take it as if i'm speaking directly to you but however you guys make sure you're in the positive mindset if you're feeling triggered by anything honey check face the mirror is what i'm trying to say okay face the mirror okay because life is about learning and evolving right so let's see let's see what my spirit team has for you today Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for speaking directly through me loud and clearly, for protecting us from any danger seen and unseen, for closing the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will. And so it is. Okay. So something here is making you have a lot of doubt about something. Something that you may have been feeling um, strong about previously before when it comes to whatever it is it's like it's messing with your 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 sense of security okay or your sense of stability here with the first chakra coming out next to the angel of strength in the reverse next to the seventh chakra okay even when it comes to your intuition right now you may even feel blocked with something okay um and don't forget y'all i pick up on past present future energy so this could have happened at any time everyone is on a different timeline don't force anything to fit. But however, yeah, whatever it is, it's like you may feel like some type of self-doubt with something now where you had a lot of, um, I hear, willpower about something. Like you was feeling like, yeah, strong, confident in all is what I'm hearing about a certain situation here in your life. So tell me about the first chakra card. So it's something you're holding on to very tightly. All right, four pentacles. Uh, right. Whatever it is, it's like it could be look, you could be holding on to your money real tightly right now, or you could be holding on to something that happened in the past. You could be holding on to a grudge, resentment, whatever that is, like that has to be released, is what I'm hearing. Okay. The page of cups is in the reverse position. So something could be making you feel blocked creatively or um you may be slow to open up right now about this situation. It's like you got a lot of ideas in your mind here about it. But at the same time, it's like when it comes to communicating them right now, you may not be saying anything about it. But I really definitely feel like whatever happened is not making you feel safe, okay, or secure at all, okay? And you're doubting something here. So tell me about the angel of strength in the reverse position. It's like almost hard for me to even put it into words right now. Um, I, I definitely feel like when it comes to this situation, you're like, what? It kind of threw you for a loop. I'm, I'm feeling like that because I got a king of pentacles and a queen of pentacles in the reverse. So I got two people coming out mirroring each other's energy right now. Okay, so something may make you feel insecure about this situation. This masculine energy may was operating in their lower self, basically doing something for their own personal gain. They may have even mismanaged you in some kind of way, and it, it may be making you feel insecure, or this could be somebody else, okay, coming in as this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Y'all know, flip these roles as you see fit. Sometimes this Queen of Pentacles in reverse can also be someone who's very selfish or self-absorbed, but however, it's like, I feel like it's a more of a feeling of like, you may feel insecure about something that this um, masculine did or vice versa, right? Tell me more about this. And what I'm saying is like, you guys are definitely mirroring each other's energy right now. Yep, the death card in the reverse. So it's something here that has made you probably feel really stuck, okay? Um, and, and what I'm hearing is like, instead of you just like kind of releasing the situation and kind of letting the situation end, it's almost that feeling of holding on to it, like, okay? It's like a resistancy that I'm feeling that's coming through, okay? Um, it could be fear of change, but it feels like a repeat pattern is what I'm hearing, okay? So, what is, overall, what what did this person do to Aries that's making them feel this self-doubt? They lack judgment in some kind of way, judgment card. 
I seen that in the reverse and didn't jump out. So with some something here, I'm feeling like you guys may have had a falling out at one time before. Whatever happened, you know, y'all said y'all words, but now it's like you you are trying to move on from that here, right? You're trying to move forward. You're trying to have a more positive um, energy come through. I feel like you may even want to have a new beginning here when it comes to this situation, right? It's like you may even start to feel even happier again um, overall about about what was happening, about your new beginning here. Um, but I do feel like something transpired. Yeah, something caused you um, or whoever else this is, Queen of Wands, is definitely fire sign energy, right? But however, if this isn't you, this is someone else, right? So that could be blocking your happiness right now, okay? Or something could make you feel like insecure or even jealous to a certain degree or even wanting to seek some type of revenge right or this person may feel like that however it goes okay um the queen of wands when they get in the reverse they can be very uh if they get pissed or something here is blocking them from manifesting something they can turn into an energy of um being revengeful let's just put it that way okay so <clears throat> however let me see Yep, things took a turn for, for the worse, okay? So instead of things getting better and you being able to get to this point here with the sun, Wheel of Fortune comes out in the reverse. Yes, excuse my shirt, y'all. This is my workout shirt. I know I look wrinkled, but <laughs> but I still wanted to show up for y'all. So it's all good, right? Yeah, so things basically took a turn for the worse. It's like right now, um, instead of it getting better here, I'm hearing change of perspective. Yes, Ten of Cups in the reverse position too. Okay, so you, what you're trying to manifest here is all about your happiness at this point. But again, hey, I feel like you could even be struggling to communicate some things here. I'm being very slow to open up about this, but um, you got to be true to you, right? What are your values? Be true to your own values and what you want, okay? Because somebody feels disconnected here um, in this situation. And again, someone is, whether your person is masculine, they're doing things for their own personal gain. If your person is feminine, it's the, it's the same thing. They're doing things for their own personal gain, okay? They're operating in their lower self. They're not really offering anything serious. It's all about them at that moment, okay? So why is Aries blocked in their intuition? Right, because it's, it's like you're doubting this now because... I feel like you were getting ready to take this leap of faith and, and, and jump into something new, right? A whole new beginning is what you thought. Okay, but somebody was being reckless or the fool. Okay, so now it's like self-doubt kicks in. You could even be blaming someone. Someone could be blaming you, however, right? But yeah, you may have went somewhere went to a celebration or a party or you connected with some folk right you may have went out went out somewhere had some drinks i don't know i see people toasting it up right um i feel like yeah whatever was happening it could have been a party type situation here however so it's like okay um you i feel like you were trying to connect to to um, this person or this this setting because it's all about supporting your tribe, right? That's what I'm hearing. It's about supporting your tribe. So yeah, that's what you ended up doing. But whatever happened in, or transpired within that situation here, it definitely, you may not be feeling it. You may not be clicking well with this person. So overall, it's like the magician is in the reverse in the two of swords. So, yes, you got to make a certain decision here and it may be making you feel a little off because you may feel like you've either been manipulated in some kind of way or you may feel powerless to the situation. However, two of swords next to the magician. OK, so you're having a hard time with making a certain decision now. Again, you're feeling blocked in your intuition is messing with your sense of security or your stability. And now you're doubting, OK, everything right now when it comes to this situation. All right. So tell me the seven chakra. Why is not Aries communicating this? Why aren't they opening up about this? Because right now, look, the justice card comes out in the reverse. So whatever was done, <laughs> what I just heard is because somebody 
whoever did that made did the injustice in this story okay you know how you do things thinking that other people don't see it that's what i'm saying and this is why you're not saying anything yep you're waiting for the opportunity to say it you may be like mm -mm, i'm good everything is fine and i've seen that that um ace of pentacles but it didn't come out it's like you're waiting for the perfect time to manifest this to say it you waiting for that perfect time to jump in boom all right and say it right mm. yeah the chariot card is in the upright position so again you're waiting for the perfect time to take action wow that's why I was saying with that Queen of Wands and reverse energy, the Queen of Wands be like, oh yeah, <laughs> waiting. It's almost like, I don't want to say revengeful, but it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to get you. Don't think you got away with this. I'm going to get you. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're not clicking well. You may be, you know, kind of like, let me step back for a minute. Why? Because you feel like somebody was being foolish. Somebody was being reckless. Okay, mismanaging you or, or didn't handle you properly here. Okay, so... <sighs> Yep. Page, I mean, mm, Eight of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Swords reverse position, Ten of Wands feeling burdened. You feel burdened by this situation, and it may be having you, it may make you feel trapped or restricted. Eight of Pentacles reverse. This, it's like you, you may be losing sight of of the bigger picture overall right now because you may have been trying to apply yourself here to changing things right to making things feel a little bit more secure in this situation here but bam you ended up hitting some type of obstacle that may make you feel restricted or your hands may feel tied with this situation but it definitely feels like it's something here that's preventing you from being able to move forward and it burdens you with the ten of wands okay so you definitely feel like it's a weight on your shoulder right now about it um and again it's like yeah everything is fine i'm good i'm good but you are experiencing some type of grief or pain or something behind this situation okay yep it definitely triggered you it's triggering you because this person may have acted however it go right if this is your person as the masculine energy they may have acted in queen, um, king of wands reverse energy that's that reckless energy. That's the playboy type energy. In and out type situation. Not really committing or anything. And it's blocking you in your intuition. You may feel overly emotional. You are saying you the feminine energy. You may um, be triggered by the situation. Period. Okay. But listen to your intuition. Just as the seven chakra says. Don't doubt your intuition. Trust what you know to be true. Is what I'm hearing about you know what tired okay but tell me here i'm using this deck because it'd be straightforward here you go the ring card that comes out tell me about this you may have been trying to create some type of firm foundation with this person you could have been committed to this person you somebody could have been married to this person or engaged to this person okay um tell me about the ring card tell me more about this ring card you could have lived with this person maybe had plans with this person long term to maybe marry this person is also what's coming to me. Tell me more about the ring card. Nine of Wands in the reverse. So you may feel defeated by this situation. Yep. The Nine of Wands reverse position so you can see it next to the Fool card. Because this person is being reckless, is being risky, non-committal. They're not taking a leap of faith here. Okay. And it's pissing you off. You definitely, I feel like, Aries, you could be mad about this. Like, heated. I got this Queen of Wands energy coming out again in reverse. It feels like this is a goal or something you could have been trying to manifest here. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the magician. This is something you were trying to manifest here. You you were letting this person come back in. Queen of Swords, right? You were setting the boundary with this person, but you were letting them come back in. And here again, Queen of Cups reverse. Everything that transpired now, it's like it's triggering you. You were trying to manifest something here. It was a goal. Page of Pentacles in a reverse position. You were trying to create or make, you know, whatever that goal was, you were trying to um, create something that's solid, right? Something here. It's like you were motivated to begin that process again here with the situation here. Okay. I don't know that this person bring you some. Yeah, you. it was a challenge at one point And now you're like, okay, I'm ready to overcome this challenge. Tell me about this page. Yeah, you were ready to manifest this goal. But of course, I definitely feel like this could be a situation involving other people, some type of third party situation. And now, bam, three of cups in the reverse position next to the ace of swords, where you thought you were having a breakthrough here. And now you may feel confused. You may feel unsure, okay, about what's happening. And of course, you know, the communication is not it's not happening at this point okay it could be some clashing words painful words that could be said in regards to this again because the queen of wands energy comes out in the reverse right even if that's not going to be you acting in that wet manner and it's the other person they can come off as again very revengeful very um explosive okay argumentative mm -hmm. so this is someone probably definitely from your past all right, but however, six of cups in the upright position next to the four of cups. It's like, yeah, you decided, okay, let's focus on, um, let's focus for, on, you may even have been thinking about the good memories you had with this person where at first you were over it and now it's like, you know what? Let me come out of that energy. I'm not contemplating no more. I'm not, you know, standing back here, um, being disconnected or however discontent in this situation let me just go ahead and let's move forward here past whatever it is that we're going through right mm -hmm. two of wands let me continue to keep moving forward with my plans and now the situation has put you in hermit mode basically you may feel like you're you you if you're not there definitely go within because it's a lot of answers that you seek that you need is already within you it's coming to you in your intuition okay all right so yeah check in with your higher self with this situation basically here because it feels like of course you need some type of clarity here so that you can begin to what move forward right so Yep, you, you're going through a tower moment. If it hasn't come yet, it's coming. The energy is brewing. And again, with the sun card, that's what you've been looking for. You've been looking for a new beginning. Okay, and they even feeling positive and everything about this new beginning. But bam, here we go. This tower hits. Okay, some sudden changes come in. Something shifts the energy. But the tower happens to what? To, to get that stagnant energy moving. Okay, so um, or to help change your perspective about something. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, Ten of Swords in the upright position. So again, that tower even could have happened already before. And it, you had experienced an ending here that caused some type of deep wounds. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But you guys found some type of solution here and begin to what work on something here. All right. Eight of Swords in the reverse, the Eight of Pentacles. You may have decided, okay, let me start working on this again. Or you may both have decided, okay, let's start trying to work on something here um, to get us out of this energy, right? So y'all ending definitely could have been very bad. But bam, again, Queen of Wands reverse. Okay, Aries, I keep getting this reverse energy. So you could have a karmic connection with this person. Okay. Um, on top of that, I've been getting reverse cards throughout the whole reading reverse court cards so yeah an injustice is being done and in order for a decision to be made it has to come out you know a, a, a decision that's fair and just you know it's like someone has to act in their integrity okay so if it doesn't feel right for you if it if it's not aligned with what it is that you desire look to a cups in the reverse 
there's an imbalance between you because of this. If it doesn't feel right for you, then no, you don't, you can't stand for it, okay? Because you want your justice too. But in order to get your justice for the karmic scales to balance is what I'm hearing. You have to act in a manner of being in your integrity um, with it. So try to find the carriage or the strength here to get back grounded, um, to feel stable most definitely because when your root chakra is out of alignment here it kind of can just throw you off in all areas all right look the king of pentacles reverse still coming out reverse energy so take some time to self-reflect because there's some decisions that have to be made okay in regards to the situation look the higher fire in the reverse there's no alignment or either you guys values are not aligned <laughs> tell me about the sun card Yeah, that's what you were looking for. Ten of Cups. Or that's what you're looking to do. It's like you're trying to have um, your wish fulfillment. Okay? Divine love. Uh, your happy family. A romantic, romantic relationship. Something long term. That's what you're looking for. But again, it's like this person is still coming out in the reverse energy. So... It's, that's not what they're looking to offer. The King of Pentacles in reverse doesn't offer anything serious. Again, they do things for their own personal gain. What is this um, this person, Aries person, feel about this situation? The how far in the reverse. So they're not in alignment. Y'all values are not the same when it comes to this. Okay, so with the high front in the reverse position, basically, even they could be rebelling in some kind of way, but I'm definitely hearing there's no alignment. Okay, and they really feel like there's no clear path. It's either their self-limiting beliefs here, because I got the eight of swords in the reverse position. It's like they need to really face their truth and their fears. Okay, ten of swords in the upright position. So everything that may have taken place here in this situation here, it caused it, it was a bad ending and it has caused some deep wounds for them as well. OK, so and it's been making them feel very restricted and especially when it comes to making a certain decision. So it's two decisions that they need to make that are very important, but they haven't been making it because they feel like it's going to be some type of negative negative consequence if they make this decision. The judgment card comes out. OK, so I feel like they have been reflecting. They've been reflecting overall on everything here that has been taking place here um they have self-doubt too a lot very uncertain is what i'm hearing but they have awakened here um because why they've been judging themselves as well okay so they've been checking in with themselves yep the hermit so they've been doing some soul searching overall trying to find some answers and they may be telling you that they're fine but they really are experiencing some type of grief or something here behind this and what i'm seeing is like they're focusing on the loss five of cups energy they're focusing on the loss they're focusing on their grief um is what i'm just hearing and i, I definitely feel like they're trying to figure out a way how they can just move on past the pain okay as well so it's definitely a conversation I'm feeling that need to be had. Show me what I need to see. It says bring love into the situation. So <clears throat> come out of that energy here that may make you feel angry. Okay. May make you feel like, oh, you want to get revenge. Come out of that energy and bring love to the situation. Okay. It ain't saying like, oh, you got to be like, oh, I love you. <laughs> no, it's basically saying here is like, you know what? Let's reconcile our differences. Let me take this negative energy out. Um, and I, I just, I just need to operate. I need to have a peace of mind, right? Because you want to be able to come to some type of solution here or some type of agreement in some kind of way. And of course, love is the highest vibration of all, all right? So that's the only thing that will literally bring balance into the situation here. Um, because I definitely feel like, yeah, it's a very emotional situation two of wands in the upright position so yeah because it says take the first steps or even you know make certain decisions here because you want to be able to have or whatever your future goals are you want to be able to manifest them 
without having a situation here where there's grief, there's heartache, there's pain, there's unforgiveness, there's resentment, right? Um, that's going to block you completely from everything that you're trying to manifest, okay? Now, New Moon in Aquarius says... I don't know y'all keep passing it. <laughs> Aquarius, hold on. <clears throat> Aquarius is all about progress. So this is a time to move forward. It says no looking back. Change is on its way and it can it could come quickly. Whether you get the change you want depends both on whether you believe you can have it and how much you're relying on others to bring it to you. This card comes with the suggestion that you may need to do things independently on your own, but be loving, not too pragmatic. Time may be of the essence when this card comes up. Aquarius energy has an electric feel to it. Certainly there's a sense that you need to let go of the past and move towards your future as soon as possible. Okay. <clears throat> you need to be more detached from the situation. Think outside of the box. That's going to bring you a solution to this. Okay, so um, dropping convention works well with this energy. All right, all right, Aries. Okay, so um, hopefully that will gain, help you get some type of clarity overall with this situation. But I'm gonna get ready to go because I am tired. Okay, so whew, all right, that was a lot. Um, it seems like the energy across the board for uh, who I've done already Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini is like almost all the same okay um but again it's it's based off of us okay we're the co-creators of our life and it requires us to be in alignment all right so when you're trying to manifest something whether it's with this person or a new person here it ha the energy has to be clear when something doesn't serve you you have to let it go you have to release it in order for something new to come in right and if this is your person then of course they will come in and they will be the king of pentacles and upright but if they're not then, of course, this is what you're going to keep getting, a repeat cycle over and over again. So what it's about is about closing these cycles. All right. That will and in, in, will of fortune in the reverse basically spoke about that about karma, basically. OK, um, in order for things to get better again, it's about letting go of what no longer serves you. OK, that's negative emotions, patterns, behaviors, mindsets, people, all of that stuff. Right. Um, releasing the the hardship, releasing whatever it is that you may feel like you've lost and recovering and healing. OK, and getting yourself into alignment here um, is what I'm also hearing. All right. So just take some time to do some self-reflecting and then breathe and then take the next step. OK, peace.